you should do like a romance sort of thing, Colette. I like that idea. But I did like the horror idea first. Maybe you should try something Nicholas Sparks style, like Love and Tragedy. I think that's too cliche. Do you have any better ideas, Henry? Nope. <laughs> then be quiet. <laughs> Anna, what are you gonna do your story? Um, I was actually thinking of a thriller. Or maybe something psychological even. Oh, really? Why do you want to do that? Is that why you taught me out of it? What? No, I always had this idea. It's just something, something I like to write about. Whatever, Hannah. You always think you're better than the rest of us. What? I never said that. Oh, hey, look at the time. We gotta go to that uh, book signing. Yeah, we should probably go, you know, not wait in line forever. Yeah. Fine, let's go. Brian, like the agent Brian? Yeah. Well, it's it's not definite yet. That's why I didn't say anything. Oh, come on, tell us. Well, he liked my book so much that he might give me a movie deal. What? You've got to be kidding me. I think that's great, Anna. Let's see. I thought you'd like it. Thanks, guys. But it's not definite yet. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, totally understand. Thanks, guys. This is bullshit. Okay, so we gotta go before actually the guys come on. I can't believe we just met Richard Benedict. I know, he is seriously amazing. He's gotta be my favorite author ever. Do you guys imagine we got our books published and we'd be as famous as him? It'd be crazy. Uh, you know, I wish we could do like a book signing with him or something. Yeah. Let's be realistic here, guys. Why? Because none of us will ever be as famous as Richard Benedict. You know, a little positivity never hurt anyone, call it. Whatever, you guys think what you want. I'm just being realistic here. Whatever. What did he say? Who? 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 You know, Richard Benedict, the guy who's holding up the line for five minutes talking to you? I think I'm more like ten. We just talked. Sure liked you. We just talked, writer, writer. He asked about my book. No big deal. No big deal? Richard Benedict? No big deal? You gave him your phone number. Listen, this guy reads more books in a week than I do in my entire life. Why would he bother to call me? Hello? Richard? Oh, hi, Richard. Unbelievable. Coffee? Oh, God. I don't know. I really appreciate the invitation, but... No, this really isn't a good time. Can I call you later? Okay, bye. <laughs> Amazing. This isn't fair. This just isn't fair. What? First, you get an agent. Then sell your book. And then the big movie deal? Please don't. No, this isn't fair. And now Richard Benedict wants to have coffee with you? And this is happening to only you? Isn't there, I don't know, a creative crumb for all of us to nibble on? I don't know what you're saying, Colette. You know how hard I work, how devoted I am. I always support you in all of your writing. You wouldn't introduce me to your agent. Ryan didn't want to meet you, I asked. Hannah has earned her success. The only reason why Brian didn't want to meet me was because you told him I wouldn't bring anything to the table. You said that about all of us. Colette, you're being ridiculous. Hannah would not say that about us. Oh, at least not about me. Oh, shut up, Alan. You know, you don't get special treatment because you two are together. In fact, I heard Brian on the phone with Hannah last week saying that we were all has what? been to. I never said that. Well, you might as well have, Hannah. You undersold all of us, and you know it. I don't need to take any of this bullshit. You didn't have to go by Henry. Well, Colette wasn't going to say it. I appreciate you standing up for me, but next time, don't. I can take care of myself. Whatever, I'm going home. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was not it's even okay. watching. I often lose focus and find myself wandering. You're Richard Benedict. I am. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw you earlier today. 
Richard Benedict remembers me? I do. You were with another girl. Hannah, right? Well, of course, this is about Hannah. No, 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 no. I want to talk to you. You see, Hannah mentioned some of the great ideas her friends had. What's your name? What? Hannah said that? My... Oh, my name's Colette. Colette? I know who you are, Mr. Benedict. I'm a huge fan. I've Come read every... I actually want to talk to you about some of the ideas you had. You see, I can help you. You can't be serious. I would love to hear all about it. Hello? Who is this? Oh! Richard! Oh! What a coincidence! I was just thinking about you. I want speaker. Oh, Richard, you're quite a charmer. Well, I hope you weren't expecting anything different. Well, that certainly... So listen, the reason I called was I wanted to talk to you about your book. Do you have a minute? Of course! Good. Well, I definitely think it has mass appeal. I can see every target from here to Brooklyn selling a piece at the front of their store. Well... I was thinking more Barnes & Noble material, honestly. Listen, Colette, uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. The market for horror romance right now is completely saturated. To where there just isn't any room for it. I thought to say people won't like it, though. I think the premise alone will more than make up for any profit margins. I, I mean, that's not exactly who I'm aiming my book for. <sighs> Listen, do you want to sell books or not? Did I have other ventures I could be attending to? No, 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 I do, I do. This is out of the kindness of my heart. N no, I, I, I understand. Um, I appreciate it. So, how do we go about this? Well, if I'm going to jumpstart your career, I'm going to need a favor from you. Okay, shoot. So then the doctor says, it's because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy you invited me out. Well, you know, I like to reach out to the masses and help the common man. I really think this book has potential. Well... Okay, maybe not Pulitzer material, obviously, but a bestseller list? Agreed. That's why I'm here with you now. That, and you're beautiful. I'm just... Speechless? Yeah. I often have that effect on people. There is, of course, one condition. Your friend, Hannah. What about her? She writes beautifully. It's gentle, genuine. Her word flow and structure remind me of a young Michael Chabon. I see. She's the poet, and I'm the ditz that likes to write about vampires. Werewolves. Whatever. I see you judging me. Listen. You're the first girl that I've taken on a date in the last five years. This is a date? Yeah, it is. And you know what else? I learned a long time ago that the secret to true happiness is knowing exactly what you want in life and taking it. And what I want is you and Hannah's writing. Hannah wouldn't do it. She has way too much you pride. You don't get ahead in this field by being nice. Yeah, but... I'm not Steinbeck. I'm not Hemingway. I'm just a wolf. And so are you. So what do you say? Are you in? Or do you want to be on the outside your entire life? Hey. What? What's up? I just brought you back your manuscript. It was good. Just gotta tighten up a few chapters. Thanks. You read everything? Of course. You didn't have to do that. What else are friends for? Wait. I didn't mean to insult you by telling you what to write. I'm sorry. I, I really like your material. I really do. It's just... It's okay. I don't take it to heart. You're like a sister to me. 
sometimes I feel like I don't matter anymore. This whole writing path was because I thought I was different, unique. And I just don't believe that anymore. And now I'm going to be this bitter woman who's jealous of anyone who ever get a shot of success. You'll get your shot. It just takes time. At this rate, I'm never going to be a great writer. I've never become anyone. You don't have to be anyone to anyone else. Not to even to Richard Benedict. That guy cuts his candy bar with a fork and a knife. Sorry, Hannah. For what? I'm just sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. I thought you said Alan and Henry were gonna be here. Where are they? Oh, they're in the garage. The garage? Mm -hmm. Just fine. You did all this because some asshole promised you a book deal? Are you serious? What the hell are you thinking, Colette? Do you honestly think you're gonna get away with this? You guys don't understand. I need my book to be published. I'm so goddamn tired of being the one left behind. Left behind? Colette, Henry are the same boat as you. Yeah, you don't see us kidnapping our friends and giving them a concussion with a fucking bat. What's going on? Hannah, are you okay? Look who decided to wake up. Why are Alan and Henry tied up? Why am I tied up? What's going on, Colette? I'm sorry, but I had to. There is no way you would agree to this. Agree to what? She wants you to sign over the rights to your book. To Richard Benedict. Richard Benedict wants my work? Don't do it, Hannah. Screw him. Shut up, Alan. That's right, Hannah. You're such a good writer, even the pros want your work. Are you happy now, knowing you're such a big shot? Well, not anymore. This time, I'm gonna be the one in the spotlight and not you. What's wrong with you, Colette? Is this how you want your book to be published? By betraying your friends? What happened to writing just to write? That's easy to say when everything works out for you, Hannah. Ever since freshman year, everything has just worked out for you. I had a struggle to even keep up with you. I'll take whatever chance I can to get ahead. This is the contract that relinquish your rights to Richard Benedict. Just sign this and everything will be over. I'm not signing that. Sign the damn paper. Well, now you've done it, Colette. You killed Alan because of your own selfish delusions. This is all my fault. I should have just signed the damn paper. He hello? Hello, Colette. How are things? Has Hannah given you over the rights yet? Richard, I... I... What's wrong? What happened? I shot Alan. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Whoa, whoa, Colette. I had nothing to do with this, okay? The deal is off. Richard, no, no, please don't leave me like this. 